We're talking today to Mary Tompkins of Ceasefire Foundation of Oregon. And Mary, you're going to tell us a little bit about your annual gun turn-in. Okay. Well, basically, Ceasefire has been in existence since 1994. And over the last years, we've collected close to 8,000 guns. Um, fortunately, we're, um, we, we were able to partner with the mayor's office and we were able to get $25,000 in funds towards the funds that Ceasefire Oregon already had. And so we've had $35,000 and we've been able to sponsor a gun turn, turn in. Um, we sponsored our last one on December 18th and we collected about 115 guns. And so now we're doing our next one April 9th. Um, this coming Saturday from 10 to 2 at the Memorial Coliseum Benton parking lot. We will be offering $50 gift certificates to gun owners that turn in their used and um, workable guns. We do offer a $5 gift certificate to people who may bring guns that are not workable, ammunition, um, BB guns, um, toy guns, guns that basically look like real guns but are actually very dangerous and we don't want those in the hands of young children or people playing around because the police kind of take those guns serious and it's very hard for them to determine if it's a real gun or a toy gun. So we are offering $5 for those guns as well. Okay, so who do you want to bring guns in? We want homeowners to bring guns in that have un unwanted guns that are just laying around the house that um, they're not using, that they have, they're not particularly um, stored away, or they're not particularly a gun that they see as a collectible item. Okay. Now, some people argue that these gun turn-ins, they don't really get the guns off the street that are really causing the violence and are the problem. But what do you say to that? Well, what I say to that is that basically ceasefire is trying to collect unwanted guns in people's homes that children and young people might come into contact with. Um, some guns, uh, children find those guns, they find them loaded, they find them sitting under a bed or in a dresser, they take the gun out, they look at it, they might point it at a friend or, uh, or uh, a co-worker or anyone, and sometimes those guns in, are the guns that we're trying to get out of the homes, and sometimes those guns end up in fatal accidents and um, deaths. And so what we're looking for is people may be despondent, suicidal, young people, we're trying to get those guns out of the homes. So you're not against responsible gun ownership, you just want to make things a bit safer. Exactly. We feel that people do, um, there are responsible gun owners that lock away their guns, keep them unloaded. They have, there's lots of law enforcement people that have guns as collectible items. Those guns are being treated appropriately. Those guns are not falling in the hands of um, criminals or people that break into homes that can steal the guns or young people that get a hold of the guns that are curious and they end up shooting a friend or themselves. Those are the guns that we are trying to get are the ones that um, fall into the hands of criminals and people who might be suicidal. So remind us again, where should people come? Um, people should come to Memorial Coliseum, the Benton parking lot on April 9th between 10 and 2 and they will get a $50 gift certificate to Fred Meyer um, Shopping Center. Thank you very much, Mary. Thank you.